Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how I did this Netflix inspired presentation in PowerPoint. So the first thing that we need to do is set up a black slide and then we're just gonna add our text. This will be our logo. So for this one, I'm using the font Bebas New. And then I'm gonna create some guides so they will help us align our content throughout the whole deck. And to make sure that the space is even, I'm just gonna draw a shape. I'm gonna align it to the, to the right uh, border and I'm just duplicating the guide. You can skip this step, but I find it very useful to align the rest of the elements in the slide. And then I'm just going to add some text so it looks similar to the Netflix homepage. And for this one, we can use a font Arial and just decrease the size a little bit. And we're going to create four different categories. You can duplicate that same text box that you did if you hold Control or Command uh, on your keyboard, depending if you are a uh, PC or a Mac user. Um, so I'm just holding control and duplicating that text and just replacing it with different categories. And then I'm just going to distribute the elements so the space between them is even. And you can do that if you select everything. You If you go to shape format, align, and then distribute horizontally. So then we need to create a placeholder for our profile picture. So I'm just setting up a rounded rectangle here. Um, I'm just gonna select no line and I'm just gonna change the color to gray. And then we're gonna insert a triangle and this will be our arrow um, next to the profile picture. So it looks more realistic. Um, and I think that's the whole point of making a PowerPoint with the same style as something that already exists, which is to make it look as close as possible to the real thing. And I'm just gonna select no line and I'm just gonna change the color to white. Then we're gonna create our episodes, uh, which will be the other slide. So first we need to create obviously the text that it's going to be episodes and we're just going to use the same font but here I'm just going to use the bold version of Arial and then I'm just duplicating that text and I'm just going to start adding the name of the episodes so in this case um, this presentation will be about bees so first I'm going to start maybe with the pollination and then I'm gonna do like honey and uh, maybe we can talk about the queen bee and the next one would be maybe the hive and then we'll need to click to create the placeholders for the actual episode so we're gonna do this will be just like a reference because we are gonna insert them in this layout later on um, so we just need to create like a rectangle with the same size as the the whole slide and we're just gonna make four of them and align them distribute horizontally and here I'm I'm just gonna fit them within the guides that I set up at the beginning and then you'll just have to rearrange the texts that you did to align to the placeholders so everything is tidy and nice. So once you're happy with the alignment, I'm just gonna change the background of the slide to a light color because I need to create a rectangle with no line and a gradient feel. And here you're just gonna get rid of the handles in the middle of the gradient and you're gonna select black for the both of them and for the one on the left we're gonna switch the transparency to 100 percent and the other one we're just gonna leave it at zero and after that you just have to copy paste the same shape and rotate it 90 degrees and then you can just align it to the top of the slide so you can do that with align align to top 
and then we're going to select both of them, right click and send to back. And then I'll change the background color to black again. Um, and obviously the shapes are going to disappear because they're the same color. And then I'll go to onsplash.com um, because they have really cool free stock images. So I'm just going to look for a B image in this case. And I think in the meantime, I'm just going to download this one. So it downloads to your computer and then you just have to drag the file to your layout. And with the image selected, you go to picture format and then click on crop. And with these black handles here, you can adjust them to fit your image. And then you can just click on fill and the image will take the whole space that you already defined. And then you're going to right click and send to back. And now we have like this gradient that we that we did. Um, and if you need to adjust your image, you can select it again and again, click to click on picture format and then click on crop and you can just rearrange your image. So I think that the top gradient is looking a little bit faded. So I'm just going to select it and I'm just going to drag the handles a little bit closer so it looks darker. And if you need to replace your image, you can just download the new image that you want. Then go back to PowerPoint, right click on your image, click on change picture and select it from this device. And here you'll be able to just switch the image that you want. And again, if you need to rearrange it, you can flip it with picture format and rotate and you can re realign it with the crop um, option. And I think that this image looks better because the background is not as bright. So we'll be able to insert our title with insert text box and it will stand out against the color of the picture. So I'm just going to increase the size and change the color to white. And this presentation, I'm going to call it the fantastic life of bees because it will be kind of like a documentary style presentation. And then we'll need to create our play button. So everything looks a little bit more real. So to do that, you're going to insert a rounded rectangle. And then you're going to right click format shape and you're going to select no line and solid fill. And here you can change the color. So here I picked white and then you're going to double click on it so you can add your text. And here I'm just going to add the text play. And then you're just going to insert a triangle for the play button and you're going to select no line and solid field. You're going to change the color to black. Now we're going to create a new slide and if you right click on it and select the layout blank, you will get rid of those um, native placeholders. And I'm just going to copy the same title from the from the first slide and here this will be our first episode so the first episode is pollination and this one will have four stages so i'm just going to create four different numbers with four different text placeholders and remember that you can duplicate objects or text or anything if you hold the control key on your keyboard and if you just drag the element. Now you just have to make sure that everything is aligned and everything is distributed evenly. And then we're going to create another new slide with black background. And this one will be our second episode. So again, I'm just going to copy the title from the previous one with the text placeholder. And this one is about honey. So I'm just setting up the title and here I'm just going to make something a little bit different with these rounded rectangles. So I'll add icons to these shapes later, but in the meantime, I'm just 
setting up the placeholders for everything and once we're done we're gonna create a new slide for our third episode which in this case will be about the queen bee so for this one I just need a title and a short description and then I'll just duplicate that slide with Control D and this one will talk about the hive and I'm gonna add some pictures once I'm done with everything but I want to set up the text first and now we have our four episodes and now what we need to do is to link them on the first slide which is our cover slide so to do that you just go to insert zoom and you'll select the four slides that you just did and you're gonna click on insert and you'll get these little previews that will get updated automatically and you'll just have to position them where you set up your placeholders at the beginning and once you're done we can just get rid of those shapes because we won't need them anymore now to make them stand out a little bit more you're going to select them all and go to format shape and add a glow and here with these settings here you can change the size and you can change the transparency as well um, so they will pop out a little bit more on this slide and then we'll need to start adding our images so I'm just gonna download a bunch of images and I'm just gonna add them to my layouts so with the image selected you right click send to back and then click on crop again with the black handles just take them all the way to the edges of the of the slide and then click on fill and your image will take up the whole space and then you just have to change the transparency of the image so you can just increase this handle here and if you go back to your first slide you'll see that the thumbnail of the first episode is already updated so that's a very cool feature and I'm just repeating the process with the rest of the layouts And yes, for this one, I'm actually using a picture of a bee and not a wasp, as I did on a previous TikTok tutorial, which, by the way, you're missing out if you're not following me. So go right now to TikTok um, and follow me at lerutia.ppt to get all my latest tutorials and slides. And now I'm just on my last slide. And again, I'm just adding an image. I'm gonna change the transparency again and now we're gonna insert a circle to create a button to go back so here I just selected line to white and selected fill to black and I just changed the transparency of the fill a little bit and then I'm gonna insert an icon and here I'm just gonna look for an arrow and you're just gonna click on insert and if you don't see it it's probably in the middle of your slide so you need to zoom out and then you can just reposition it then you're gonna right click on the circle and go to insert link and you're gonna insert a link from a page in this document and you're gonna link it back to your cover slide and then you just need to copy that copy those shapes that you did and then just paste them on the rest of your slides for this slide right here we need to insert our icons so here I just look for bees and honey and all of that so you just select all of them click on insert and then you can reposition and change your color and the last thing to do is to go back to our first slide and replace the profile picture placeholder that we did in the format picture panel you can add a picture as a fill and that's a way to add your image to your placeholder and there you go that's how i did this netflix inspired presentation make sure to like subscribe and share this video 
and if you want to get the full template that includes instructions and 14 layouts and animations please go to lurutiappt.gumroad.com and thank you so much for watching and i will see you the next time